Hello everyone, Belltooth here again, and we've returned to see the Durban Rockets here in Durban, West Virginia. We're going to go on a little train ride here. Steam train. Start the video, son. Okay, everyone, we're on the train, getting ready to go. Stand by for some live action. Woo! There's little Leroy sitting right there in old Plymouth. And this line has about five miles of track. We're going to the end of the, the line, current end of the line. Pretty soon this thing will go all the way to Cass. They got a bridge that they're still working on. Here's where the Y is right here. Okay, we're now moving at a blistering speed of eight or nine miles an hour. I'm gonna go five miles near the end of the line and pick up two castaway cabooses. There's the house for me right there. Wow, that's cool looking. Awesome view there. There's some high rail cars and some cabooses siding there. Ooh. Oh, a tree got that one. Looks like a tree just landed on that, that high rail vehicle back here recently. These tracks were installed in 1902 for logging. Shipped out a lot of logs on this line and connected up with the Chesapeake and Ohio Railroad. Went through Cass, Marlington, and westbound.
This tourist railroad started in 1996, and that's the owner's house right there. Mile post 92. Here's part of the old pole line right here. Used to have four insulators up there. Some of them still have remains of rubber insulators and remains of glass insulators. All right, let's walk on back here a little bit. Walk back towards the caboose area. Picking up the castaway cabooses. There's the live action kids right there. Hi Lily. What's more live action into it? Hi Lily. Hi. Yeah. Okay. Draw more than that, I hope. Hi. Yeah, like that. I'm not, and there's I'm not going right to there. a cat. Why are you going to the Caboose. Hi. Name Okay, we just picked up a caboose from this siding right here, one of the castaway sidings. And somebody said there's a uh, there's a long waiting list for these castaway cabooses. It might take you two or three years to get on the list here to actually get one of the cabooses. So this is where you stay at, right here. That's pretty cool. creek there. We actually saw a bear on the way over here. There it goes to the water. There we are pick up the second castaway caboose on the siding. kind of gross I'll admit it. Uh, the frequency is 160.455. Okay we're getting off the train here for about 15 minutes and we can hang around here and you can look at the locomotive and get pictures of it. 
maybe get up in the cab even. So a short little stop here, and then the train will head back eastbound. Pretty good. I'm gonna show the inside of it there. Getting back on the train. I'm gonna head back eastbound now. Locomotives up that way. Here we go. You going that way? Yeah. Okay. Where are you going to, Aubrey? I think she's going back to the caboose. Going that way. I'm going this way.
Hi Lily, what's doing there? Okay. Okay, I'm back here on the very end of the train here. There's two more cabooses right past me. Those are the castaway cabooses. So I'm at the end of the regular train with the castaway cabooses right behind me. There you go folks, that's the whole ride there, that's pretty cool. Uh, took about two hours for a round trip, two hour trip. So now we're getting off the train here. Let's see what it looks like in here folks. There's the coal bunker. Wow, it's hot in here too. Whew, it's hot in there. Ah, but wait, there's more! Of course there was it!
there you go. Dropping off the cabooses over here. Putting them on the siding. Okay, there they go. They got three-step protection now, so they stopped the train. When they said they were dumping the cabooses off, I thought they, that they meant they were leaving them, but they were dumping the waste from inside the cabooses, the water from them. So they had to dump each one of them. Took about probably 15 minutes per caboose. Okay, thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed my video. If you have time, watch another video. Every view really helps my channel. And from somewhere in Cass, West Virginia, we'll see you later.